Hi, my name is Rod John and I'm here to present the topic Remote Health Monitoring System. This is how I structured my presentation. First, we'll have a close look on the system Remote Health Monitoring. A remote Health Monitoring, like the name in Bryce, is used to provide distant medical care for patients by integrating the structural and the tracking systems. By structural, what I meant is the how it is uh, how the electronic devices are linked together for an FTT communication between them. So, and the tracking system that we use is a GPS system to find out the location of the patient. By taking the advantage of this system, we can develop a beneficial system to provide uh, healthcare for elderly people. Uh, people with mobility issues and chronic diseases. Obviously, this system is really helpful for doctors since they can uh, refer the data of their patients sitting in their home or in a room in the hospital. So, the question arises here is why do we need a remote health monitoring system even though we have a much advanced uh, medical facilities? The problem with the medical facilities that we get now is they are very uh, costly. So when we use the remote health monitoring system, the expense that we uh, put on the uh, put on for clinical observation can can be avoided. Another uh, main ad advantages of using remote health monitoring is, is that we know people uh, the older population is increasing. So when we attach this remote health monitoring system, they can uh, they can verify their uh, data, like the physical physiological data themselves, and it is transferred to the to, to, to their uh, doctors. It also make advantage uh, when the lower it can also use uh, to avoid the problem of low doctor to patient ratio. So. Now I would like to put some light on the technical aspects of remote health monitoring system. A remote health monitoring system can be classified as a contactless monitoring system and a wearable, con uh, wearable monitoring system. In contactless monitoring system, we make use of our radio system and uh, radio facility and a camera. The problem by, by using this system is that it affects the privacy of the patient since we are using a, a uh, camera for monitoring the uh, health issues of the patient. Another disadvantage of using a contactless monitoring system is that it can be used only in indoor. So, ever to in order to overcome this problem, we'll uh, focus or we'll study more into wearable monitoring system, which uses different biosensors to get the health data or health information from patient's body. Compared to a uh, contactless monitoring system, the advantage of using a wearable monitoring system is that it can be used both indoor and outdoor, or basically it can be used anywhere where there is same access to internet. So, therefore, the, the importance of wearable uh, monitoring system in present scenario is a question number one. It is, it, the, and main advantage other than it can be used in indoor and outdoor is that it can be used to monitor the physiological data or the health data continuously of a patient like I said before. When we monitor these data uh, continuously, we can detect any health disorder, uh, disorder of the patient. Many researchers have pointed out the importance of getting the, like knowing the disorder at areas uh, to avoid the chronic diseases like cancer. So if we are able to find out these disorder symptoms at earliest, we can give the treatment at the right time and we can avoid these diseases. Now I uh, take you to the architecture of wireless remote health monitoring system. That is our main focus. Our wireless health monitoring system consists of uh, a three type system with uh, tier 1 is a data generation system and tier 2 data transmission phase tier 3 data storage and access in data generation uh, phase we'll get collect the data from all the biosensors connected to the body of the patient 
and we collaborate these things and we send to the access points which can be a smart device like smartphone in the smart devices integrate these data and transmit this data to a medical server a uh, medical server which is the where these data are stored to transfer this data we may use soft technologies like 3g wifi of uh, wifi in the type 3 like we, i said it stores the data of the patient and this data can be accessed by the doctor for sitting in a medical uh, medical center so main issues that can arise by using a wireless or uh, voting area network that is WBAN is that since this is a wireless one it there will be issues like security and reliability computational overhead storage efficiency and energy efficiency in order to overcome these issues uh, we have designed uh, uh, we have designed a system that that is more reliable secure and more energy efficient so this is the research design I come up with which you are making use of the anonymous authentication method and adaptive transmission protocol what is an uh, anonymous authentication system an uh, anonymous authentication system consists of uh, three components like WBAN, uh, WBAN client which is uh, the patient and network manager which is a third party uh, secure third party and an application provider which can be a medical server located in a hospital the how this system work is like if the network manager which is a uh, trusted third party will give the uh, parameters system parameters and security key to application provider that is like i said is a medical server so in order to connect the WBAN that is a patient and the uh, medical server the, the WBAN the client has to get, uh, register with the network manager and from the when after the registration the network manager gives a security key of uh, uh, application provider when this when this security key is uh, accessed by the uh, client it will authenticate with the application provider and vice versa and vice versa the main problem while using this system is the energy efficiency since we got a lot of biosensors attached to the patient in order to overcome the energy energy efficiency problem we made use of adaptive power transmission control protocol which is basically uh, which basically made use of periodic motion movement of the patient we attach uh, as well an accelerometer with the patient and find out the periodic movement of the patient periodic movement can is accessed and the transmission takes place only when the link that is link is ideal to transmit even though it has many uh, benefits like energy efficiency and storage everything security the main limitation of this is the delay in transmission and the cost of implementation like we use two servers the, so the cost of implementation is more uh, like the con now I'd like to conclude and put some recommendation to my idea. Like I said, the system was able to transmit the data securely and efficiently, but there is this uh, time delay in transmission. So if we overcome this delay, the system will become more efficient. Thank you.